Thank you, Mr. President. I rise today to speak about Legacy Week. After the tragedy and devastation felt by the Australian forces in the Great War between 1914 and 1918, an attitude began to build that more could be done to support our returned soldiers. Australians had gallantly fought in Gallipoli, Palestine, France and Flanders, contributing to the conclusive Allied victory. However, the First World War had resulted in significant loss and injury of Australian servicemen and women, and it remains to this day the costliest conflict in our nation's history in terms of deaths and casualties. At the time, our nation's population totaled fewer than 5 million people, with over 416,000 Australians enlisted to fight in the war. Tragically, 60,000 were killed and 156,000 wounded, gassed or taken prisoner. The consequences of victory were tragic for communities and families. As a result of the devastation, returned soldiers felt as if their colleagues in business were failing to adequately assist them and fellow returned servicemen. One of those returned soldiers, General Sir John Jellybrand, decided that he could do more to support his fellow returned servicemen. In 1923, Jellybrand founded the Remembrance Club in Hobart to support returned servicemen into opportunities in business. Soon after, Jellybrand urged a former member of his brigade staff to establish a similar organisation in Melbourne. In 1925, it was suggested that these organisations should investigate caring for the children of deceased servicemen. This was the beginning of Legacy as we know it. Today, Legacy is a charity focused on providing services to Australian families suffering after the injury or death of a spouse or parent during their Defence Force service. Families can receive financial and social support from Legacy, who has an acute understanding of the pain and trauma that they are facing. The social support comes from 44 Legacy branches spread across Australia and one in London, and 4,000 engaged volunteers acting as legatees to widows and families of deceased veterans. This wide network of support allows Legacy Australia to care for 52,000 beneficiaries nationwide. Of this number, the Legacy Club of South Australia and Broken Hill care for 4,612 veteran families spread throughout our state. The work that Legacy does to support such a great number of families who have sacrificed so much must be acknowledged. Like many organisations, Legacy has faced increasing, cha increasing challenges due to the ongoing effects of COVID-19. As a charity, they rely on donations to fund their programs. Legacy Week is the organisation's premier fundraising event, which was run this year between Saturday the 29th of August and the 5th of September. In previous years, Legacy Week is carried out by veterans and volunteers rattling the tins in communities and selling Legacy badges. Legacy volunteers can usually be seen in our communities attending the local sporting games, the shopping precinct or community events to fundraise for this worthy cause. For the first time since 1944, due to COVID-19, the Legacy Club of South Australian Broken Hill were not able to hold their historic badge appeal in its usual way. Unfortunately, due to the health concerns of COVID-19, many veterans and volunteers did not feel comfortable fundraising in the community this year. For almost a century, Legacy has kept the promise to thousands of veteran families by providing financial and social support for those in their care during times of hardship and grief. Legacy was determined to maintain its promise and overcome the challenges of COVID-19. To continue their valuable work, Legacy decided to shift the focus of their fundraising online, where you can donate or purchase merchandise such as badges or Legacy bears. Although Legacy Week may be officially over for another year, I would encourage everyone and anyone to visit their website, adelaidelegacy.org.au, and donate to continue the support. I would like to thank Legacy for reaching out to me to be involved in this year's Legacy Week. My husband David served in Iraq, and I understand firsthand the importance of the social and financial support provided by Legacy. I am proud to be involved with Legacy and to support this fantastic organisation. I would encourage anyone to consider financially supporting Legacy so that they can continue to support those families who have sacrificed so much for this country and our state. Mr President, buying a little Legacy badge goes a long way. Thank you. Thank you.